Congratulations on making it to level three. You're almost there. So now it is time to go way back to when we did that pre-assessment at the beginning of this grid and show us what you've learned now. So I know a lot of you, when you took that at the beginning, you were like, what? I have no idea what we're talking about here. But now you do, now that you've made it through level one and level two. So go ahead, get that out of your core folder, right? It should look like this. Okay, it says pre-assessment at the top. It might be towards the back of your math section. Now, if you can't find this, you really wanna look really, really hard and try and find it first, okay? But if you cannot find this, then one, you can possibly ask me for an extra. I may have one, but not, not sure. Or two, you can click where it says, here's a digital one, right? It says, can't find it, here's a digital one. You'll have to use scratch paper to show the problems and work. And when I say that, that doesn't mean that you have to rewrite each problem. What it means is that I want you to write problem one and then your answer, problem two, and then your answer somehow, okay? So you've got to make sure you're doing that so that you can do that. But you really want to make sure you keep track of these, okay? So when you're correcting your pre-assessment, a couple quick things is if you got something right, then you will see a star on that problem. So let's say you got this first one right. Maybe it was just a lucky guess, maybe you truly knew it, but you got it right, so you got a little star. But maybe you didn't get number two right, or maybe you partially got it right, something along those lines, um, then you need to correct that one. So you would need to either erase or uh, add on to whatever you had there, okay? So you're gonna go through and anything that you either got wrong or left blank, you need to correct. You need to actually do those problems, okay? If you have a star next to it, that means it's correct and you move on. So there are several that you need to do, okay? Keep going through all the pages. And when you get done, you can check with the answer key, okay? You can click on it here. And I believe I also have a hard copy on the whiteboard or you can ask me for it if it's not there. Okay, so go ahead, correct those. That is gonna be such a great way for you to practice before your summative assessment. Because if you can do the pre-assessment, you can definitely do the summative assessment. Good luck, take your time, get it right, and check your answers before moving on. You can do it.